spray. I think I have it. Um, is this working okay? Should be. Yeah, I'm visible. It's all good. Can you hear me okay or can you not hear me? I have no idea if the audio is working and it's a pain for me to go check it. I can go check it. But... Um, let's see if I'm muted or not. No, I'm not. I can hear myself. Um, so that's good. I'll mute that now on that end and go, what's up, everyone? Um, we're doing cooking again today because I'm hungry and why not? And I finally got my oh, supermarket stuff kicking again. So we are going to do cooking. Normally I would have the recipe up for you ahead of time, but I didn't get time because I've been working on trying to get this as optimal as I can, which is not easy, but uh, we are getting there. I've got this again on YouTube, on Facebook, on Facebook page, and Periscope, but I think the Periscope doesn't work correctly because I definitely transmit at too high of a rate for, for that. Um, skipping, that's interesting, it's not on my end. Uh, I can, I've got the feed also just going directly to my phone. You can't see it, but down here we'll have, I can, you know, can live monitor and I can see if it skips or not. So if, if that hiccups, I'll know about it. Today we're going to make this herb thing, which is pretty good. Um, hopefully it'll be good. I have no idea. We'll find out. It should be. It's the reason why it shouldn't be. It's tasty, tasty food. I forgot to hit the record button. I forgot that last time too. I remember this time. Um, so yeah, we will be making herb crush. What it was called? Yeah, herb crumbed lamb with mash today. I make them from these guys. This is a pepper leaf subscription I get five days a week. Um, hopefully I will keep doing that. It costs a bit, but it's worth it. It's really Makes my life a lot easier. I don't have to go up and buy stuff. And today is a stink. Today is very hot. So that is uh, definitely not good to do. In terms of music, I have no music on right now because of copyright. Um, just go look up some cafe music or something. Put it on the background. I don't know money, Dad. Let's talk about the stuff we need today. Let's see if we can get this working. It still works though. I want it to work. This should work. Uh, and if it does, we're laughing. Boom. That's the stuff that we are using today. And if I go to... Let's see if this works as well. I haven't tested this stuff in a while, so... Let's go to... Bam Bam. Let's see if this worked out. It may, it may not have, I have no idea. But Excellent! It did work. So we have a bunch of things. Unlike last time, where I didn't really have time to prepare, uh, this time I've done a fair bit of pre-prep work, just to make life a little bit easier. Uh, we have to cook multiple things, and just so that we're not going to the back of the kitchen, we pretty much have to do it all one at a time. So there's going to be some delays in that regard. It's going to be spending a lot of time waiting. Uh, stuff you need to make this is 400 grams of potatoes, just two big potatoes or so. 300 grams of lamb, that's still in the fridge. Uh, 20 grams, you're better than a box full of rocket. Toru. Um, 20 grams of mint, which is finely chopped up. Um, I've already done that. 5 grams of rosemary, again, finely chopped that up. Uh, zucchini, which I'll cover later. Uh, carrot, which will peel. Two potatoes will peel. Half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, if you've not seen them before. They're just like a nice little breadcrumb thing. We have a lemon, which we're using at the end. We have two, two teaspoons, two teaspoons of brown sugar? I may have only gotten one out. I only got one out, so that's gonna need more brown sugar. I realize I've made a mistake there. I was like, wait a second, I only recall getting one teaspoon of brown sugar. That's not gonna be enough brown sugar. So let me just quickly get a second one. And we will make light work of that. Where is my, if I can remember where I put my other setting. My measuring cups. Ah, excellent. And then you're gonna need a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, which is there, and two tablespoons of milk. Also, you can obviously change that up a little bit depending on how you like your mashed potatoes. That's what that's being used for. The sugar is being used for like a mint jelly, which you'll see later on. It's really hard to be lively without music. I'm gonna have to find a solution to that, like sooner rather than later. Just find some like copyright free cafe music done. If I've got that on in the background, that'd be great. Because otherwise it's just like it's very quiet here. It's very quiet. But that's okay, we make it work. We make it work. What are you all up to this weekend, by the way? Hope your weekend has been a um, as good one as the best it can be. Sometimes it's a little bit hard. Especially when the day is hot like this, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's start off with Steps, shall we? I think that's all working. <laughs> Alrighty. Step one is going to be something I've already done, mostly. I also completely spelt rosemary wrong, but don't worry about it, it's fine. 
Um, on a plate, a small plate, so on a small plate, you can be doing some dipping. You need to basically combine the Ponko, which we have here, uh, Monster Cat, Monster Cat would work. It's a bit too intense for cooking, I think. It has super light on milk for mash. It is, it's super light. Two is not very much. I'm curious as to how it's going to go. So basically, you get our Ponko program, chuck it on a plate. Cross the get rid of this, don't need do it. There we go. So we can get rid of that now too. And then the rosemary as well is going to go on a plate. Because we're going to be dipping our, on our, dipping our lamb in this a bit later on. You can always use butter as well. I'm really curious as to how it's going to work. If it's going to work, it may not work. I have no idea. Just combine that a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Just going to be dipping lamb in it anyway. Not exactly that it's too hard to do. Cool. Sick. First part of preparation is done. Pretty straightforward. Can't go wrong. Boop, boop, step two. When he wants to kick in. Now, a lot of this is just prep work. You know, I've done most of the prep work already. Uh, big thing is we're going to cut the zucchini uh, into... Let's see if I've still got this actually zoomed in the right way. And the peeled carrot into batons. You don't need to peel the um, peel a zucchini. So I didn't because I can't bother. Because it still tastes good in the map. We're going to baton this out. Otherwise, I just cut it into little mini sticks. I'm kind of lazy with this, so you know, you don't have to do it the way I do it, but I just make little thin sticks more or less. Not quite batons, but it's close enough. It's close enough. End of the day, it's still going to taste good. It's not going to really change the texture much, so we got them. Yeah, rose mate and breadcrumbs, exactly. Otherwise known as I was making this all in a rush, because I had to very much get things back in order to the way they were, and I haven't done all this in a couple of weeks. And a lot of stuff changed. I optimized a lot of things too. So now in the future, preparing for these is going to take me way less time. But it meant that I had to do a bunch of like weird stuff today. Like file name changes and location changes and stuff like that. But it means that in the future, getting stuff to work is going to be way easier. True. You don't need to peel the carrot either. Um, some prefer it. Some people very much prefer it. This recipe be cold to do so. Um, I'm guessing it's probably a mouthfeel thing. You know. Skin's good for you. Or potato, yeah. Skin's good for you on that too. If you want to go like the more healthy approach, if I'm not mistaken, I ain't no food scientist, um, you leave it all on. But I didn't because the recipe told me not to, so. And I feel like just following the book today because I'm a bit tired. Because it's a hot day. I don't do very well in hot weather. But it's alright, don't worry about it. We'll make it work. And this is the um, last one. There we go. Boop. Boom. Yeah, shrug, shrug emoji. Pretty much, hey. Pretty much. So we have a bunch of zucchini good to go, the carrot as well. This all goes together, so it doesn't really matter um, how we do it. I'm also going to, just to make things a bit easier, I'm going to skip a step. I'm going to chop potatoes first, because I want to get these on the um, in the pot as fast as I can, just because it's going to take some time for them to um, time for them to cook. So I'd rather get these on sooner rather than later, so we can mash them later on. So just give me a moment, I know we're kind of going around the order, because I didn't really think this through, but that's fine, don't worry about it. It's okay, don't worry about it. My knife is stuck, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Chucked a mega sad? Yeah, it did, it did. I lost like so much, but I um, hella optimized as a result. So it ended up being a blessing in disguise, I suppose, because um. Yeah, it ended out, by the end of it, I optimized the heck out of all my templating and stuff. So, I can now make VTuber assets in like a quarter of the time. Like, it was worth it in the end, because it's going to save me so much time making them. Um, now it's just like pulling the right fusion comp and stuff, so I'm actually really happy with it in the end. And it also, I, just, I got to like optimize, the, like up the quality of them as well. Like, I understand a lot more about the video editing and stuff right now. Which, uh, which is like a kind of a cool little net win. What took me weeks took me like a few days to fix in the end. Heck what, heck the rules. Heck them. Right, cool. So I just want to get this on sooner rather than later. So with this, you pretty much just want to like half cover them in cold water. Not too hard. So I know I'm not thinking you are you're done yet. Half cover them in salt. Well, let's uh, put the... Let's do this for you actually. Let's do it. Chuck that, we need a little bit of salt in there. Hooray, automated salt grinder. Makes our fingers. Throw a table. Good table. And then, I'm going to turn this guy on at the power. He's already on. 
and it's going to... No, it's not. I turn on the power. This is a bit loud, but that's that's induction cookers for you. And we're going to get it started. Power. Upside down is a bit difficult. Right, cool. And that's going to be like 8 or 10 minutes once it's boiling. That's why I want to get it done now. Otherwise... And we're going to be spending a fair bit of time waiting anyway, just because I've only got the one induction. And we have to cook three different things. So, I don't really want to go all the way over the back, I'd rather show you it all here. And like for YouTube, I'm just going to like, chop it all up later. If that makes sense. So as a result, it means you're going to be doing a little bit of waiting today. But it's okay, we can just talk about stuff. We can just talk about stuff. And chill. And, and take it easy. I'd love it if we could chill, but it's like... What's the weather like in Melbourne today? I know it's stinking hot because I can feel it. I don't actually know what the temperature is, and I can't look it up because my phone's my live monitor at the moment. So that's not gonna work. It takes me long enough to get that working anyway, so. Should have a new knife coming soon as well. I kickstarted like a really nice knife. This knife is uh, unfortunately gotten rather damaged, so. Because it was a cheap knife. It's one of those like. Kiwi brand is really good because they're cheap and they're ultra sharp, but they don't last very long. Second induction dono gold. <laughs> That's alright. There wouldn't be enough space. Single's fine. Single's fine. Over time, I'll get like an extra, another webcam and stuff, and we'll go and we'll, and we'll um, activate the back one, and we'll find ways around it. I think. But for now, it works the way it does, so that's okay. Big table salt better than grinders for seating costs. Okay, fair. I'm just like the automated, I'm just lazy, I'm like, it works, it'll do. But I get you. 36, roof, you know, I'm like dying. That is hot. This is very hot. Let me get this and stir this up a little bit. So we've done step two. Let us um, show you what the next step is, which I'm pretty sure is just the potato step, which we've already done. So just peel and chop potatoes, which we've done already. Hooray, easy clap. Step four. I've got an expensive knife coming. And that's what we're doing now. We're going to boiling these for 10 minutes. Uh, in the meantime, we can do other things in the meantime. I'm going to get this stuff here and get it out of the way. I'm going to chuck it on my, um, on, on this cutting board. This is my Scooby cutting board. It's nice and easy to get things into, ready to get them into later on. So, chuck you on here. Tomorrow is April. I hope it's not. I don't want to see that. That's, that's, that makes me sad. Makes me less sad. Alright, cool. Look at the induction cookers, they boil hella quick. So 10 minutes from now, so 628 or so we'll take that out. But step 6, we're already halfway there, because it's a 10 step thing, 10th step being eat. Guess kind of helps. Hold on, step 4, so step 5 we can't do yet. Step 5 we need to wait. Step 5 is um, draining and adding milk and olive oil, uh, which is really odd that it's only 2 tablespoons of milk, but okay, it's fine, don't worry about it. Step six, we can do other things though. We can get other stuff. Tomorrow's day six. Ugh, I killed. I don't want that. I don't like that at all. So I want to mix the mint with the vinegar and the brown sugar. Now with this, we need to basically stir it until um, the sugar dissolved. So we need a small bowl. A small like this will do nicely. We get our mint. Chuck our mint in there. We get our vinegar and our brown sugar as well. That, that's the vinegar. Vinegar goes in. And then the brown sugar goes in. The idea is I'm kind of making like a jelly of sorts here. Small little spoons, blue. Stir the heck out of it. And so we can't see that sugar anymore, which we pretty much already can't, but I'm gonna give it a bit of time. Tomorrow is death. No! The marshmallows are cold are really good. Oh, interesting. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I've got like a. I kickstarted one from Hinoki. Hinoki.shop is, um,. The one I got, so I'm looking forward to that. Should be really good. Uni starts tomorrow for you. Ah, oh, damn, I'm on summer course already. So I've been doing uni every day from Monday to Saturday because Japanese uni, so Saturday is a Saturday's a day. Saturday's a day for it, so cool. So as you can see, I will try and raise it so the camera gets it, but the zoom's kind of odd. We have this, like, it's not really a jelly, it's still kind of liquidy, but you get the idea. We're pretty much going to be chucking our lamb in there. Speaking of, I need to get the lamb. I haven't got it. It's in here. I didn't get that. Look at 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 that. Look at
So we've got this, so we've got to the side. Um, we will use that along with the hopper momentarily. I need to chop anything else, so I can just use this board for the lamb. Normally you wouldn't want to mix, like, especially like blood and stuff, but you know, that's fine. Blood out. Chop these. And food with lamb. Food. He's black. Alright, so we can go to the next step now because I've mixed everything up, so step seven. And it's totally almost done. Step seven, we're going to dip it into the mint jelly. And then after that, we're going to press it into the pumper. So we'll get these out of the way real quick. We'll get the pumper here real quick. And we'll just use the same board afterwards, right? So, just in case we get the spoon out of the way. Actually, we'll keep the spoons when I try and like, coat them a bit better. So we've got like, we've just got like lamb chunks here. They're not like huge bits, but they are definitely bits. Try and get that proper. There's a fair bit of mint, so you can use, you know, a liberal amount. And there's plenty of pumper as well, so. Want to get that kind of nicely coated if you can. Keep in mind if you get like lamb stuff from the supermarket, sometimes like they, they fold in weird ways, so you can make sure you kind of unfold them and press properly. I always re coat them if I don't have enough, so that is walnut or whatever. Don't want that much in one thing. Olive oil is the mash packs are interesting. I'm curious how that's going to work. I haven't done that before, so I'm going to kind of see what happens there. Wow, my iPad's almost out of battery. What the hell? Um, I guess I've been running music on it all day, so. Uh, I might lose chat. I might have to go. I might have to fix that. So I'm gonna have to wash my hands in a second and plug that iPad in. Uh, but for now, if it gets to five, if it's problematic, then I'll do it. But uh, it seems like it's okay at the moment. Seems so. like for the moment it's gonna be fine. Oh, it's fine. All right. Cool. Next. That is rare and roaring away, as expected. Induction cookers will do that. All right, cool. Where do you buy your meat? So when I get pepper leaf. Um, I get a monthly subscription, a weekly subscription box of groceries. Pepper Leaf is a small Jap, a small Jap, small Australian business, and they do like the whole Hello Hello Fresh kind of thing. But they're a small business, and I like to support small businesses where I can. And they just send it as part of the box. And um, with Hello Fresh, I had experiences where the, the ingredients were often no good by the time they arrived. Um, I've not had that experience with Pepper Leaf at all. Um, the one time they made a mistake, I, I emailed them about it, and they corrected it immediately. It was really good, so I like supporting them. They're a little bit adorable, because um, they are a small business. Like, their, their recipes often have typos, sometimes they're missing things, so you've got to keep that in mind. But, small business, and it's it's kind of like the endearing level of, oh man, instead of like the, oh, this is frustrating. Like, you can very much tell it's being run by a small operation, but they still make really good results. I kind of like what we make here more than compared to what I get from, um, from other services, like, Hello Fresh and stuff because it allows me to springboard in different ways, which I like a lot. So I probably haven't got enough. I haven't got nearly enough hunger here. Luckily, I do still have some spare. So keep that in mind. They say a half a cup. Half a cup's not enough. We learned that today, but that's fine. That's fine. I have more, so I can just go and get it from the pantry. I think I hope I have more. If I haven't got more, that's going to be problematic. I've got a fair bit of a fair bit of lamb left, as you can see. But like. One, two, three bits left. Three bits left. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. But we're definitely gonna be uh, these last ones are gonna be running a bit dry on the coating. That's fine. Like rosemary, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. The worst thing is I had it right the first time, and I had to do some other recorrections and recorrect it all, and then I got it wrong the next time. Oh, it's okay. This is what it is. Might be helped. Okay, so yeah, we are very much running out of plant over here and running out of everything, but that's fine, remember? That's fine. We'll just make a web. We we'll have to make a web. But yeah, lesson learned there. Um, maybe a cup of Parker would be more what you want. Um, or just don't be like me, don't be as thorough with coating things. I'm also running out of mint and stuff too, so these last bits, these last bits are just not going to be not going to be covered in that regard, and that's okay. They're going to be ultra light on the coating. Maybe you've got friends who just want a little bit of pumpkin. It's like a little bit, like a tiny bit of pumpkin. Like some really small amounts. And you disown it, You just make it work. You make it work. Lesson learned. I think this is a new recipe of theirs as well, so maybe they're still tinkering as well. But yeah, half the cup is not enough. Not enough. I'm out of mint jelly, which is good. Because you run out. But yeah, I have like no pumpkin left for this one. So, let me see if I have any spit. I should. I should have some hunger in the cupboard. Hope I don't. If I don't, oh well. Uh, maybe I don't actually. 
Unfortunately, because we aren't there, is we're going to boil the uh, zucchini and carrot for like um, one or two minutes. So we'll need to use this again. And then after that, we cook the lamb and then we're done. Uh, we are done for the most part. Again, this is not particularly tricky. These meals often aren't, which is what I like about them. They are relatively simple. They're relatively simple. And they're taking you like, the idea is you can do them in less than an hour, and then you're done. And it's good. Right, so this has been another two minutes or so. So you can do it for eight to ten. Um, me, I like mine a little bit less, a little bit more mashed, so I'm gonna give it the extra two minutes. Then we're gonna drain it and mash it. So let's get that ready. So I'm gonna need a bowl. A bowl this sign should do. Um, we're gonna need a drainer, which is here. And then we will um, drain it out of the sink and then get to mashing, I guess. Which means we totally need to make some room, so. To make room, what we'll do is we will get this out of the way. And this will go to the side. For now. Yeah, no. Don't worry about it. It's later about problem. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, over time I'll get these, but the idea with these is I do the cooking, the stream is done, um, I record it, which I'm doing, afterwards I splice it all up, and then um, I get to go like Upload a much smaller version with like backing music and all that, and kind of like get two uses out of one. It's definitely hot there, it's fun. It's sweating like a sailor. Like a sailor. Another minute or so. And then I'm gonna drain it. Then I'm gonna use the same pot because it's induction. I don't think I have another induction pot, so I'm gonna have to quickly drain it and then clean it or just rinse it out. And then um, use it again. That's fine though. Here's what it is. You do what you can when you haven't got a huge amount of resources at the moment. I'm working on things. I also bought a um, mic shield today, so hopefully, because you, you'll hear the audio, it was kind of echoey. I'm hoping that the audio shield will help a little bit, but if not, it's going to help with the mainstream anyway, so that's kind of still fine. It's not really the end of the world. So I'm going to boil the zucchini and carrots for once, two minutes, and then we're going to get the uh, the meat going, which is about a six to eight minute procedure, depending on how you like it. I'll go for six, probably less than that, because this thing cooks them ultra fast. And I'm still getting used to that, and they end up burning stuff, because it's induction. Speaking of... Speaking of induction, I may have fucking ruined everything. Because, it's said to put in half, and I did, and it looks like I may have burnt shit. Ah, we're gonna run back, it's fine. But I'm definitely gonna have to use it for pot. So... Whoops. Oh well, you let me alone. This new induction cooker is, um... Definitely... Way more powerful than what I'm used to. And uh, things like that. cooking it three times faster than I'm used to as well. So I definitely can't use that pot again. Let's let's test if this pot is induction. It should be. If it's not, oh well. If it is, oh well. Yeah, that's how you learn. We learn by making mistakes. It's all good. But we definitely can't use that pot again. Let's see if this works. I don't know if it's going to be induction. I think it's induction. We'll find out. We'll find out if it's induction, because I'll know very quickly if it's not. I can, I can hear it, it's induction, it's fine. Right? Probably. Well, again, we live in Lindy I've absolutely obliterated that pot. That's fine. Uh, yeah, well, we may do. I still don't know if that's going to work or not yet. We'll have to find out. Otherwise, this might have been one of those, like, it was a trash fire, we ruined everything situations. It's okay. We make do. Oh no, yeah, that's good, that's fine. That's good. Alright, so we're gonna add, for this, we're gonna add, let's go back some steps. We're basically gonna add, because we drain the potato now. Um, mash it and then stir it in milk and add oil. Where's my masher at? Because, you know, I'm sometimes prepared. Not always, but sometimes. Mash it a little bit now, and then we'll add the other stuff and then do it again. It doesn't say how much olive oil to add, to add so just can kind of like go by feel with that, I think. 
and see how we go. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. That'll boil up pretty quickly, and then we can chuck that stuff in there. Also, good to know that my other pots are induction. I won't use that pot anymore, because that pot's actually kind of crappy. I just never got around to testing it. Never got around to testing it. Um, okay, Ooh, I've got a new thing to do with my um, study. Just put a notification about it. Milk. Add the milk in. We're going to add in some olive oil in a second as well. And we'll try and incorporate the milk first. Right, cool. Seems like it's working out pretty well. Yeah, it's definitely cooking, so nothing to worry about. We've got bubbles. We've got bubbles, we're good. But again, lesson learned, everything here is ultra, ultra freaking powerful with the induction. And I have made that mistake more than once of like, oh man, burn the pot. That's okay, the pot sucks, so. Alright, so I want to stand olive oil now. I have no idea how much it wants me to add. It doesn't say. It just says, add olive oil. Which still seems kind of odd to me. The dash of olive oil. Okay, you know, that's not odd. Dash of olive oil, so we'll just dash that boy in. I'll move that down a little bit. Dash the stuff in. That's about dash. It's a big dash, but it's dashed. It's fine, don't worry about it. We'll pour about that some more, and then we'll season. We're good. And the mash is done. Hooray! Do you like mashed potato? I love mashed sweet potato. Mashed sweet potato is amazing. He is amazing. He's ultra good. It's actually working out rather well. It's got a nice to big top, but that's okay. Maybe you like mash like that. Maybe you don't. I don't know what you like. Alright, boom. Done and done. We have nice mash. This is almost boiled, which is great. I'm gonna put this to the side. I probably should cover it, but yeah, it's fine, I don't know about it. I don't like the cold. Don't bother me. I'm gonna let this boil, which is about done. So I'm just gonna quickly switch to the pan view. Because I have a pan view as well. Hopefully that worked. This is not gonna roll somehow. Then we're gonna put pan view. Um, this is boiling away. Ultra happy to know that my actual like good pots, good pots, but also induction. Like I'm not that sort of surprising, but yeah, that one I was using before I bought for like twenty bucks, and it's like not great, but it's good because um it can go in the oven. Like, the good thing about that one is that's an oven one, so probably just for that instead. This is basically boiling now, so good enough. We'll just get the zucchini and the carrot in there for two minutes or so, and then after that we can start working on the meat. So with the meat, we need to pretty much shallow fry it. So we're gonna have to get a um, this here pan and olive oil it quite a bit. Olive oil quite a bit. That's boiling away. Uh, in the meantime, let's actually switch to this one. That's gonna go black for a second. Sorry. Need to use a fair bit. So basically, we're gonna just cover the um, the base if we can. So, let's uh, add a little bit more. I'm a little bit skeptical that's going to be enough. A little bit more. There we go. It's a fair bit, but we're, we're effectively almost shallow frying these things, so... Alright, cool. That's, you know, just cover it. And we're going to be frying over a medium to high heat for three, four minutes each side. This thing cooks ultra fast, so it's definitely going to be medium heat. So I've made that mistake once already, as we've seen. So, let's not make it twice. And we actually quickly get some water in that just to start soaking it already. Because it is a mess. That's fine, don't worry about it. Um, and then we get to serving soon as well. I'm going to serve it in one small bowl, which is not kind of how you serve this, but it's nice of a presentation for the sake of this video. So, why wow, you can see my roof, my roof like hell. That's fine. What are you all eating for dinner today, chat? What are you. What are you cooking today? If anything, maybe you're not. Maybe you already ate. Maybe you can get a menu look. Menu looks good. I got spaghetti pizza yesterday, and that was amazing. Because I'm weird, and I like that. I like that a lot for whatever reason. I don't know why. I just do. I just do. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's completely fine. Another 30 seconds or so on this, and then that stuff should be done. Then we'll drain that, and again, leave it to the side, and then we'll get this on. Uh, on a medium heat, not on the water boil setting, which is just intense. Intense. We'll go from there. It's probably good now. Well, I'll just drain it out real quick. Use the same rinse. Actually, I'll rinse the rinse. But because 
the green and everything has the potato in it. I can use my colander. I have a colander right there. Actually, let me use the colander. A little colander, it's not like it's hot, I'm gonna wash this as anyway, so. Thanks, so y'all. Mushroom is on it. Ooh! That sounds good. I'll make this off real quick, I'll come back to that momentarily. Uh, for now, now we get you, we get to change the menu to medium. And then pop it on. And that'll start up as well. And then we'll be here at our final step, which is getting our pumper plus the one we did in our pumper pot, and getting them cooking, basically. Which is good. Almost done. Almost done. We are almost done. We can skip a couple steps because I got the steps all wrong, but it's fine, don't worry about it. That's already going nuts. This is great. Doesn't take long. Um, probably because it was set to ultra high settings. I'm going to give it a bit of time to cool down uh, before I actually do anything. Because I think it's going to burn a lot. We got our silicone pump. And I'm going to zoom back into the pan bit. I like that cool down a little bit because I think it's on a high setting. I'll turn it down to six. This is cool. Point one hundred down to six, so it hasn't had a chance to really change it. There we go. That's better. That's a lot nicer. All right, cool. Um, three minutes each side. So that's still way too hot. I'm gonna cool down a little bit more. I'm gonna lift it up for a while. Like you know, have a few seconds. That is definitely way too hot. I know it says medium to high. I just don't trust this thing. Like it's lovely, but um, it just burns stuff. We should be okay now, and if we're not, it's fine. Not in the world. It's not. Let's enjoy it. And, and now, of course, now it's not. But fixed. So three minutes each side. If it wants to go in, there we go. Three minutes each side. Probably turn up to eight. Because 600 is pretty low. And I've cooked multiple things and this isn't 8 before and it's been fine, so. Almost there. Boop. And the last one. Boop. Turn up to 8 and then. I'm gonna watch that for a few minutes. So 3 minutes or so, and then it'll be done. Um, I can start splating as well. Which I'll work on momentarily. I'm gonna chuck it in a small bowl, which I know is not what you would normally do. Not something like this, but. The presentation should give me the best thing I've got, so. What about this? Start. And get rid of get rid of this cutting board and video anymore. We'll wash that later. Later Brad's problem. Uh, and now we'll chop. Uh, 640 you're gonna turn it, chat. Remind me, 640 gonna turn it. 640 gonna turn it. So, we're gonna oops, wrong one. That's fine, alright, that's good. We're gonna get some of this match. I haven't seasoned the match, have I? I haven't seasoned the match. That might help. I should do that first. If I don't do that, then it won't be as good. Uh, see the heck out of it with pepper because I love the pepper. Put the nuts on that, the freaking nuts. This is all right. Oops. Okay. Oops. Oops. Wanna work? Do you wanna go on the stand? No? Yes? No? Cool. Just a little bit, not much, just a little bit, just to quickly incorporate some of that stuff. Pop some of this in here. Or now. Press it to the bottom. Probably a little bit more. And actually, that might be enough. Uh, that might be enough. Smooth more, I guess. Just to kind of get that bottom part all nice and nice looking. And then we'll chuck the other stuff in there. This has been about two minutes, about three minutes. It's sitting 59 now, so we're gonna flip these and see if it's any good. Uh, that's right. Definitely could need more time, so we're gonna back and forth once or twice. This does not look quite the way I want them, so that's okay. Taylor. Taylor. Just crank the heat up on these once. Oh, there we go. Didn't come out perhaps as nice as I was hoping, but that's okay. Again, Taylor, so. Mistakes are how you learn. There's nothing wrong with that. Mash tastes really good. Because you know, get the mash right, that's the main thing, right? That's the main thing. Get a little bit more delicate with certain things. Get 
Yeah, that's better. Now it's cooking more the temperature we need. So I'll flip the others back for another minute on the other side. Get that final part and we'll be good. Alright, cool. That's another nice iPad battery's almost dead. Right, so a bit more time and I'll turn it. Thank you. Oh. Can't really tingle them all. There we go. That's good. Pretty much good. Well done. Another minute or so. Now put them back to the other side one more time, and then um, we're good. Yeah. Didn't look as nice as the but that's fine. At the end of the day, it tastes good. And that's what counts. Well, I hope it tastes good. I don't know if it tastes good yet. I'll know momentarily if it tastes good. I hope it doesn't taste bad. Oh, suck. But it happens, you know. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. Sometimes it's the way it goes. Oh, for it's a cool drink as well. Oof. Who would have thought cooking during a hot day? It's hot. But I've got my, I've got my second, I've got a serving camera now. I'm still working on that as well. You'll, if you're watching my YouTube shorts, you'll have seen it there. Uh, but I'm doing some tinkering with that to try and get it working. So, like, when we're done, I can move to the serving area and you can see what it looks like. Which is why I'm using this bowl. Because uh, the bowl is smaller. I don't think the plate's going to work quite the way I want it to work. So. It's probably almost good to flip back for that final, final time. Careful, that oil is jumping. You want to uh, get yourself. Uh, there we go, that's fine, yeah. That's fine. Put them again in final time. Just a little bit more coating on this side. I'm just going to eat the lamb that hasn't got coating on myself later. Fine, but yeah. As expected, it's a bit crispy, but that's fine. How much looks good? That's 30 seconds, I And that'll be good. That'll be it. We'll be, uh, we'll be good as gold. I mean, I'm definitely keen to eat. That's from hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Although yesterday I had friends over, and we just ate takiyaki and played mahjong for like 2 in the morning. My uni mates. We ate takiyaki, we ordered pizza. The takiyaki that my uni mates made was amazing. And then just slammed mahjong for like 4 hours. It's good. Play Marjong with that. Yeah, let Marjong follow something. I don't know, I'm not yet. It's just probably just now yet. And that is what I wanted. Okay, there we go. Look okay, at the nice bit. A bit of roll. See if I can learn to pick things up. That might help. One, two, and then let's go... That way. Three. You're done. I'm going to take you off and chuck you on this lovely little silicon thing of a jig. So I don't burn my, uh, burn my test. Chuck you to the side, and now, let's see if I can get this to work the way I want it to work. I'll be back in a second. Too, yeah. All right, cool. I've got this mic working now. Let's go to this camera. And it's off. All right. Never mind. I ruined it. This is cancelled. I tried. Ta da! There we go. Let me get this. Ta da! We did it. That's the meal. That's the meal. And it looks really good. I plan on having like multiple chats to connect to here, but I totally stuffed it up. That's fine, don't worry about it. That's fine, don't worry about it. Okay. Kind of worked the way I wanted to work. Just sick. Um, kind of grab it. I'm hungry, and I'm gonna eat it because I've got my main camera too. Because I managed to get all three cameras working off the one setup. So let us uh, see what it is like. Itadakimasu. Well, the veggies are good, but as you know, not exactly surprising. It's veggies. Um, the meats are the real pop.
Okay. So the lamb is really soft. It is, um, kind of melted in my mouth, for lack of a better description. It's really good. It's really good. The panko crumbing is light, but it's kind of what you want. I think it will go well with the mashed potato, and it will go well with the veggies, because the veggies are kind of fresh. That came out really good. I'm quite happy with it. This is obviously still a bit of a trash fire of a stream. I'm still testing these out and seeing how they go and trying to improve them. But the idea is to have them complete in less than an hour, which we have done. Um, I'm going to chill and enjoy my dinner. But that was it. I'm going to try and keep doing these and get them better over time. Thanks for hanging out. Go get some food yourself if you want. I'll be live again in like an hour and a quarter with, um, with Genshin. Because, you know, I'll go to my Genshin. I'm going to start doing the Monster Arias demo. That's the thing soon as well. When it eats before it gets cold. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I'll be in Discord if you want. I'll see you all in like an hour. Peace.